I need to grow my hair out. And then I need to cut it. Hey guys, what's up everyone here? And I'm sorry for that intro. I'm gonna try from now on to not talk about my hair in every single introduction. Also, you might be able to hear it. There's construction going on outside on a Sunday. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. They finally somewhat calmed down, so hopefully it'll be better. Anyway, today we're talking about subchains and why those are bad. This was actually suggested by, and I forget your name, so sorry, but it was suggested by... Thanks so much for your sub... sub blah, blah, blah. And if you'd like to suggest a topic for next time's next episode, just make sure to leave it down below. Now, in case you don't know what subchains are, it's when someone posts a comment, usually saying something along the lines of, Hey guys, sub to me, and uh, the next person can sub to the next person, and so on. And you create a chain of people subscribing to each other, creating a never-ending chain of subscriber lists. Now, on the surface, this may seem like a great idea. You're getting a subscriber, the person after you is getting a subscriber, the person after them is getting a subscriber, and you're having fun on YouTube with comments and you can make stupid things and all that stuff. But the truth is it's actually detrimental, often, to your YouTube channel. Just like Sub for Subs, which is something that was covered in a video here, which I will link, that George made about four months ago. Usually, these people who subscribe to you are only subscribing to you to not actually watch your videos. They essentially become dead subscribers, which means that they don't actively watch your content. And for those of you who say that every now and then you might actually get an active subscriber from this, yeah, that's true. Every now and then there might be someone who stays to watch your content, but for the most part, it doesn't work and you could be spending your time a lot more efficiently in other ways. You could even draw a parallel from this into marketing. Why do you think companies are so into getting information about their uh, about users? Because if they know what you're into, then it's a lot easier for them to sell their product to you, the consumer. If they don't know anything about you, you're gonna see random ads for socks or potatoes when you might not even be wanting socks or potatoes. Though, I mean, why wouldn't you want them? YouTube is the same thing. In a subchain, your content isn't being targeted towards a proper audience. You're just kind of there, and then people happen to subscribe to you. And it's a game of chance. On the other hand, if you can find a place or a forum to actually share your content to people who are into the same kind of stuff, it'll be a lot more effective. Freedom, for example, has wonderful forums where you can actually go and share your content and people who are into the same kind of stuff as you can go find it, and vice versa. That's a much better way to actually market yourself than silly subchains where random people are going to be subscribing to you, where random people are going to be subscribing to other random people and creating just dead zones on YouTube. Anyway guys, I hope this will help at least a few of you down below. I'm not trying to shame anyone who's ever had a... I'm not trying to shame anyone who's ever been in a subchain. I mean, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to tell you that it's not the best use of your time and you could be doing a lot better things. Anyway guys, if you'd like to suggest a topic for next video, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a one plus, give it a share on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus. And I also want to hear from you guys. It's October, Halloween season. The reason I've been growing out my hair is because I'm going to be going dressed as Marilyn Manson. So I need long hair for that. I want to hear what you guys are going to be dressed as or going as for Halloween. Leave it once again in the comment below. So suggest a, suggest a topic for next time and tell me what you're going to be wearing for Halloween. And I will pick the coolest ones or the funniest ones or the strangest ones to go up at the end of the video. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom. And if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here.